servo testers inside and hook those up to the top. So here we've got our throttle over here and I'm using a little uh, geared water pump over here which I have very good control of for the water brake. And then I've got on the transmitter, I've got it wired up so that I can actually create a max point which I can turn that up to there and turn that up wherever I want to go so if I go back I can go full and it will always be the same place Look at the air in the pump on the water going back in it's just um, jerry rigged at the moment just to check all this um, control and also on here I can actually over here you may hear it there's a little relay that will start and stop my dyno run so I can go to full throttle and then when I'm happy I can just click the switch and that will start the run and then end the run toggle again and on the other switch over here, I've got a engine kill. Um, so yeah, I've just finished hooking up all this uh, throttle because I was having a problem with the vibration killing the uh, throttle servos. So I've actually hooked it up over here. I use a couple of different carbs, so I've had to um, make it. So I can use a um, WYK carb as well because it's a bit short of the arm. And I've got plenty of adjustment here on the uh, fixed point. And over here we've got the servo. Um, actually when I built this, this is like the second generation, I've actually put in um, engine mounts and the main frame is um, steady as a rock, it does not shake at all. Um, all the vibrations kept within the motor, then the um, water brake, which we've got over here. It's made out of um, acetal, which is um, very strong. Um, I do notice a little bit of wear, I get like a very fine powder in the water but um, when you inspect it inside it's, it's fine um, and down here we've got our load sensor and we've got our exhaust temp here air fuel ratio which I read in Lambert and We've got a sensor here for picking up dyno speed, um, a water brake, because we've got a clutch, centrifugal clutch. The clutch has virtually no slippage at all. Um, but there is another sensor in the back of the, you can just see the wire coming out there at the back of the clutch. Um, there's a RPM sensor in there, so uh, doing it like that, I don't have to worry about modifying the engine or anything like that to get a speed control a RPM reading um, tank out of a lossy DVXL and we're using the um, Dynamite 3 USB by um, Performance Trends load cell amplifier with a um, Koenigie 35 amp speed controller driving the um, water brake pump and then we come up to the computer which you probably won't see you know, very well I know it's not too bad um, I'll just open up the software
the last run I had at lane here for some reason. Um, you can um, do pretty much everything you need. Go to here, go to here. Oh, there's one run there with no data, but the bottom run is. Here we go. 